it's not the end of the world, okay? Your wife's inability to, to conceive is not your fault, and neither is it hers. But I must advise that we stop any further complex medications or treatment on her. For her health, obviously. As I said before we started these treatments, these are experiments. And as we stand here today, nothing has come of it. I'm sorry. I truly appreciate your efforts thus far. Please, any possibility of a plan B? A plan B? Could you elaborate on that? Okay. <clears throat> what is the way forward? You can bring her back here for as many tests as you like. Uh, thank you, Doctor. How did this good man's day go? Are you referring to me? Well, work was fun. Do you remember that uh, deal I was working on? I claimed you today. Oh, congratulations. Wait a minute. Whose cute laptop is that? Oh. That must be David and his mom. And that kid. He's growing so fast, and come to think of it, he's four years old. Have you considered the doctor's alternative solutions for us? And uh, what could that be? I think it's high time you stop turning a blind side to reality. Every woman desires to have a baby. And if mine comes through adoption, so be it. We are not talking about this again. I will have my child and it will come from you and I. If it takes 20 years, so be it. What's all this waiting about? I'll never forgive you if I wait for too long. If my mother waited eight years to have me, do you have a problem with waiting? There has never been an adopted seat in my lineage. Let it not happen now, please. sleeping. We can start avoiding each other for crying out loud. You're my wife and I love you. Maybe when I get back from the business trip out, we can swing by the adoption center. Maybe in two weeks. Your mom called again. Mm, what about? Same old baby stuff. It's 
scared. Listen, I will always be by your side. And I will always take care of you. I'll see you after my trip, babe. in the room. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have attention, please? Awesome for you guys to be here. Honey, just come and join me. I've got great news here. My wife is pregnant, and we're having a baby. Can you guys excuse us just for a few minutes? What did you just say out there? Where and how did you find out? If we had waited just a little longer before going through with the adoption, how on earth did you miss this result? Come on. You and I know that we've been testing for three years straight, and so far it has been a mere formality. This is reality. When I got the letter from the hospital, I didn't bother looking at it, thinking it was the same old Negative story. Uh, I think we return Ruby to the orphanage. We can't afford to be raising two kids right now. Are you out of your mind? We have a child at hand and another coming in eight months. We need to leave with that fact. Calm down. Listen to me. It's not a big deal. You're trampling on what makes a woman fulfilled and you're saying it's not a big deal? We were impatient. We made the wrong move. I'm just trying to fix it. Fix it? Did you say fix it? <sighs> just tell me I'm dreaming. Both children mean the world to me. They're God's gift. And no one's gonna take them away. Listen. I'm, I'm just so confused right now. Ooh. Don't you want me to stay? No, baby. We want you to stay. She may not have been born from my wife's womb, but she was born out of her heart. This is what I realized, the power of a mother's love. Mm -hmm. 